Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we're going to be doing your July, your mid-July reading. So this will be good for the last two weeks of July. We're going to take a look at the overall energies and any obstacles that might be on your path. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, or if you're resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. Okay, let's take a look. Wow, <laughs> your overall energy. Great gratitude. You are being really grateful for everything that's going on in your life right now. And it could be love, it could be career, it could be finances. Um, you know, you may have just accomplished something that you're really grateful that you had the perseverance and the, and the time and the patience to get through. But this is about bringing, you know, really stepping into that sense of being really grateful for everything that you have really nice okay so let's see what else we have new beginnings wow so it's part of your gratitude we have to keep in mind that being really grateful for what we have helps to bring in even more great things um and you have some new beginning this could be you starting a new business it could be you know um starting a new relationship it could be moving to a new house um going you know on a on a new trip to a new place it's um it's about just starting new things and realizing that you're really grateful that you have this new beginning this could be something that you've been really trying to bring into your life for a long time and you know for some of you you could be starting a new family because we have a baby here right so you could be even starting a new family okay we're gonna pull one more let's see what else we have increase my goodness scorpio and on the bottom stuck energy i feel like some of you feel like you've been stuck for a very long time and some of this may not have shown up yet in your path but it is really close and you can probably almost already feel it coming in to your aura so i would just recommend staying really grateful for everything that you have in your life because it will help to bring in even more great things and realizing that this new beginning in your life whatever it is if it's a new career a new business a new relationship a new family um, that it is going to increase the joy and abundance that you have in your life wow really nice um I'm, they're always also pointing out to me that all these gems in this picture are a are you know symbols of your seven different chakras and it's about bringing in it you've worked to, to bring your whole being into alignment and to have it super balanced and that's what's helping to bring in this new beginning so if you are feeling stuck okay so this is interesting if you are still are feeling stuck is to really just try to keep yourself in balance um, eating healthy foods, exercising, doing those things that you need to do every day to keep your body really in balance and taking the steps necessary to try to put yourself into this new energy, the new beginning. Um, sometimes when I'm really stuck, like it's the simple things that can help you to get unstuck is just like if you're going to the grocery store, don't go and come back the same way that you normally do. Like you can go one way that, you know, like go to the store the normal way that you go. But when you go home, go a completely different route. Like do little things in your life. Um, if you normally, you know, at night wash your face and then brush your teeth, switch it up. <laughs> brush your teeth first and then wash your face. It's about just kind of like trying to, Get your body not to be in so much of a routine that your energy gets kind of stuck. Okay, that was really quick. So I'm going to take this as a bonus card because it just popped out. This is the world card. You really are stepping into a new world. Really lovely energy. Just to, like I'm getting the sense that you just have a fresh start on life. A new chapter in your life. 
So wonderful. Okay, we're going to take a look at the past and present energies and then um, any obstacles that you might have in the last two weeks of July. Advice from spirit and then the outcome if you were to take the advice. But of course you have free will so you can do whatever you would like. All right, so here's your past energy judgment. You had to make a decision. There was some decision in the past that you had to make. You were at a crossroads in your life and it was kind of like, okay, I can either go this way or that way. So um, if you're thinking this is career, I can stay in this job. Nope, I can switch and you know get a new job. I could stay in my job or I could go start my own business. I could um, stay in this relationship or I could break up and go into a new relationship. And if you're in a long-term commitment, right, you could have been saying, well, maybe we'll have ch children or maybe we won't. And you decided, yeah, we're going to have kids. <laughs> so it's just this energy of you made some decision, but it's also not only did you make it like you stuck with it. You were like, no, this is... This is my decision and I'm sticking with it. I'm going to do whatever I need to do in order for whatever it is that I'm trying to manifest to come true, to come true. So your present energy is the Ace of Swords. Um, this is new ideas. Um, the Ace of Swords means new information, new communication, new ideas, new thoughts, new perspectives that you can have. And so you're in this situation where you have all of this new coming. It's like a new start. But I feel like you're also getting some, um, some information or knowledge that's going to help you to move into this new beginning. So for those of you that feel really stuck right now and you're like, I don't know, this doesn't seem to be my message it's because you're waiting on this information. Um, it could be even a judgment because we have judgment here. You could have been waiting on a judgment, like a legal judgment about something. It's also a victory card. So it could be you realizing that, you know, you have a new awareness of just how much you have accomplished. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at your obstacle, the Empress. You're, you're not sure you can make this all happen. You're kind of a little bit doubtful. Can I really birth something new, right? Can I really bring this into fruition? Can I have it be my reality? You're trying to have it happen. You're possibly, you know, just sitting there thinking about it a lot of but you're just kind of in the back of your mind, you have a little self-doubt. Will this really happen? Can it really happen? Okay, so your um, advice, this is so interesting because three of the four cards are major arcana. So I really do feel like this is a big time in your life. You have the star card, okay? It's about you shining your light. It's about you realizing just how wonderful you are stepping into that and you're going to be recognized by others too it's about keeping your hopes and dreams alive of realizing that it may not come there you know overnight but that you're willing to go as long as it needs to um as long as it as long as it will take in order for it to come into fruition, that you really do want to step into this new world. There may be some major changes that you're really trying to make um, for yourself or for your life or for your family. And you know it, it can't happen overnight, but you're really committed. I feel I get the sense of being really committed to whatever this is. So the outcome is the nine of swords. This is so interesting because I think all of the uh, water signs have had the nine of swords either in the advice position or in the outcome position. So we're going to, to clarify it, but it's just about... Um, it's about kind of being up in your head about this and not sure which way to go. On the bottom, you've put a lot of time and energy into something 
Eight of Wands, wow, Eight of Wands, fast action, communication, and the Three of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. You're just a little bit hesitant. Um, you're holding back. For some reason, you're holding back because you feel like this may not happen for you. And the clear message that I'm getting is that you want to drop that fear. You want to really step into this Empress energy and say, yes, I have this. I've got this. Like, go ahead and let the fears um, go to the wayside because Scorpio, look at look at this. This is what your, your energy around you is. All of this new, beautiful energy. Um, so you don't want to bring it down by having any negative thoughts. You want to keep your thoughts really positive and just know that this is happening for you and that you deserve it. So let's take a look at this judgment card. Page of Pentacles, Tower, and the Death. With three of Pentacles on the bottom, you really want something to work out. There could have been something that came to an end very quickly. Very quickly. Like, you woke up one morning and you went, back, you went to bed that night and things were very, very different. Um, and it was because, look at all this Major Arcana, right? Um, and it really was because you made some decision that propelled you into a brand new direction that really is transforming your life. And don't worry about the Tower and the Death card. I mean, those are scary cards to look at, but they're not necessarily scary messages. Death card means you're transforming something and the Tower it can mean it's just happening suddenly and maybe like you didn't even expect it. Like you really didn't expect it. It's major change and it's very suddenly. And with the judgment card, I think you something happened and you made a decision very quickly. Like you shifted gears suddenly and you learned some new information. The Page of Pentacles is about learning something. You learned this new information and it propelled you into, you know, making a drastic change very suddenly. So um, very interesting. And, you know, the Page of Pentacles, once again, this could be all good things. Like maybe you found out at work that you weren't going to get the promotion that you were wanting. And you got that information and you were like, yeah, okay, well, I've been here a long time and I'm out of here now, you know, or I'm going to go start my own business. Or, you know, because we did have the heartbreak card i am thinking that whatever this tower moment was um i'm not saying it was um you know it, i i do think it was a shock to you right but it's it was something that happened that caused you to rethink um where am i going to put my time and effort like i'm not putting my time and effort into people or situations that are not good for me i'm grateful for everything i have and I'm grateful for my life and I am going to really work on me and building the life that I want for myself. And as soon as you went into that mindset, like you propelled yourself onto this lovely journey. Okay, so let's see what this Ace of Pentacles, um, this Ace of Swords is. Huh, very interesting. Emperor is on the bottom. So the Emperor could be... Um, it's a father figure or it could be a boss, you know, um, somebody that normally has kind of like power over you and you did, you got some information because we have the ace of swords. We got, you have some information and I think you're learning even more information right now. Someone from the past is coming back and, you know, I think in the past they snuck away um, but they're trying to come back and, you know, you feel like this is situation is somewhat of a burden. Let's see with the 10 of wands, like the 10 of wands is you want to put this burden let down. Yeah. King of pentacles. Wow. You have a lot of what I would say is, hmm. Yeah. Oh, four of wands on the bottom. Really nice energy on the bottom. Yeah, there, there's some, there's a situation in your life and it could be 
Um, I think this situation happened in the past, but I think the situation is, is that there was somebody that was holding the money. I mean, uh, with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, I feel like somebody was holding money over your head or had control of the money. You may have been in a love relationship where some, you know, the other person had more control over money than you did. There's some type of situation where somebody was controlling the money and you were like, you know what? That just doesn't work for me anymore, you know? Um, and, you know, with the Knight of Wands, you got kind of like this inspiration, like, yeah, I'm out of here. And I'm ready to go and get my own abundance, my own money, my own life. Um, really uh, trying to work towards getting this stability in your life. This is you celebrating life. This is, you know, also the 1111 card. This is the wedding card. But it's, it's like you had to really stand up for yourself. And I do feel like for some of you, this is a kind of a work, career, finances, type of reading I think that there is love perhaps involved in this so it could be a family member or a romantic relationship that also had money involved in it or control issues around money so let's see let's see what this empress is here ace of swords ace of cups a temperance Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So we've had the King and the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. There is a love relationship here. There definitely is. So with the Empress card, this is in your obstacle. You're having a hard time getting this new beginning perhaps to actually get started or you think you can't sustain it. You may have started it, but you feel like you can't um, sustain it. Look at this. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords, once again, I mean, you have this Ace of Swords energy that just keeps coming back. It's learning some new information. So it could be learning something new about yourself. It's about trying to get victory. I just really feel like it's the victory part. You're looking for a win. <laughs> That's what they gave me. You're looking for a win in this situation. And uh, you're looking for a win in love. <laughs> they just gave me that. Looking for a win in love. And, you know, if you're thinking this isn't a love reading for you, it could be a win for something that you love, right? So um, looking at it that way, like, you know, trying to get something started in something that you love. And here you have patience. Like, I don't... I think you're having a hard time waiting for this to come in. You're like impatient. You're like, okay, let's get the ball rolling. Let's go. Let's go. And what Spirit is trying to let you know is that this is on the way. You just have to take those little steps. You you may be like really concentrating on this stuck energy. You may just be like, I'm just stuck. Is just not going to come and what they're suggesting is just take little baby steps and this is coming but you don't see the whole picture you don't know the whole path and part of the path is that you have to learn patience in this patience is a virtue um but you have such lovely energy here okay with the star card this is oh my goodness the judgment card again the queen of pentacles two of wands yes your time and energy realizing that your time and energy is valuable and putting it where you know you're going to get the best return and something that you have put your time and energy in is going to help you to shine uh, we have the judgment card again. <laughs> Look at this. We have the judgment card again. I really feel like I've been getting this a lot lately. Um, and, you know, we're getting ready for the new moon in Cancer. Um, so that's about emotions. But this is, you know, this is second chances. It's kind of like if you feel like you didn't make the right decision in the past, you almost get to do it. It's like a do-over. Is that right? It's like a do-over. It's you, or you may be feeling you like you want a do-over and something. You're going to get a second chance at whatever you thought was your second chance. 
So interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten that in a reading before. So when you had the judgment card in the past where you made this decision, right? You went in a direction and what you don't realize is that pretty soon you're going to get to make another decision, another big decision. So it's almost like if you made a decision and you've been kind of like regretting it, the nine of swords, right? Kind of up in your head about it. Well, guess what? You're you're getting another second chance. Really interesting. And you have the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you know, this is nurturing yourself, building a life that's good for you, staying in that energy of making sure you're doing what's right for you, Scorpio. Really um, coming back to this great gratitude. They keep coming back to be grateful for what is coming in your life and just keep concentrating on that. Don't second guess yourself. Yeah, don't second guess yourself. Uh, it's not happening. Like, I think some of you are feeling like the energy is so stuck that it's just never going to happen, but that's not really true. Part of this is just having the patience and realizing that you are on the right path. I just feel like you're going to have another big decision to make very soon. And oh, they're telling me, okay, they're telling me because you are shining. Step into your light and shine your light and then there's going to be another decision to make. Like somebody's going to come in and offer you something and you're going to have another decision to make. This might be why you have nine of swords here, right? Because you're like, oh, this is causing me a lot of anxiety. Um, okay, let's clarify this nine of swords for you. I don't want to leave you feeling anxious. Oh, okay. You're, you're having victory in whatever the situation is. Okay, so you have the nine of swords here. You have a lot of anxiety around something that is... You know, we have the Hierophant, this is a long-term commitment, and the moon, which is secrets. You know, you don't know everything. The divine is working to have this come together. And you have some anxiety around that as far as, is this connection going to happen? Is this long-term commitment? Is this whatever this that you're grateful for, is it going to last forever? You have some questions about it there may be your intuition may be kind of like um you know uh sending you signals <laughs> that or messages about checking something out that's you're thinking about a long-term commitment for and but you're also getting this page of wands this is somebody that comes in and lights the spark right that um, allows you to see just exactly the direction you want to go in. Kind of like gives you a little inspiration. A lot of times the Page of Wands is also a child. It's, it can be somebody that's younger. It can be because we did have that Emperor energy. It can be you striking out on your own. You know, because you're kind of like... Um, the apprentice in a way in this situation doesn't mean that you're not mastered um, or qualified or deserving, but you're kind of like the younger version. So you could be the child in the situation of, you know, your father, you know, you have uh, a father or mother. I'm saying father because it's the emperor, but you know, somebody that is older, perhaps holding the money and you're, you're getting inspired to go out on your own and you're just kind of wondering, you know, is this commit commitment to yourself going to last? You're just kind of concerned about that. But you are. You're moving on. You know, you're moving on from that. Four of Wands again. Okay, so some of you, there is a soulmate connection here that is going to go long term. You're going to celebrate whatever this... Um, situation is you do have a great new beginning with this person and whether this is somebody returning from the past because we do have the judgment card twice which <laughs> which is about talks about reconciliation um somebody coming back from the past twice <laughs> perhaps twice um and then just really taking a look at that but 
For here, you want calmer waters. You're moving on from the conflict of the past. You don't want, you know, you're getting your upper hand. You don't want the conflict. You're getting on top of any feelings or concerns that you had. And you are waiting for your ships to come in. You're willing to wait, but you're also ready to go out on your own. It's really um, a lovely reading. Okay, for those of you that feel like this is a love relationship, a romantic relationship, and I really can see it both ways. I don't have anything that really says definitely a love connection or a business career decision. Um, so I'm going to leave that to you. That's going to resonate a little differently with everybody. But if it is a love connection, you, we have a lot of attraction here. Yes. Romantic feelings. You know, it, especially if this is someone returning from make the effort. Look at that. Um, for those of you that this is perhaps somebody coming back from the past, <laughs> somebody returning, somebody that you may reunite with. When you have this new beginning, it's going to be new. It's not going to be anything like it was in the past. You are going to step into a fresh new energy. Really nice. Okay, I am going to pull an angel message card for you to close this out. And Scorpio, if you have enjoyed this reading, I really would appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. I've really enjoyed doing it for you. It's been a lovely reading. Ah, believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded in love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. And I, I do feel like we've been saying that from the very beginning in this. It's about being really grateful for what you have and, you know, just seeing that positive vibration, believing in yourself and knowing that you can come into um, whatever it is that you want, this new world, stepping into something brand new and putting down those fears, putting, uh, you know, your ex anxieties to the side, asking your spirit guides, your angels to help you on this journey to bring in, I mean, this increase of abundance of love, of joy into your life. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.